Hey guys, Nikki Bubblegum here today. So what we're gonna be testing out is a new foundation. It's Revlon's Youth Fix. It's supposed to be a filler blurring foundation that's supposed to be able to fill in creases and wrinkles. So I figured, hey, let's give it a try. Maybe it's a good coverage for um, acne considering with bumps and stuff to kind of fill in and make things a little more even. So I figured, why not give it a try? It's like $10, it's a little corners store, drugstore, whatever you want to call it, makeup line. So I'm going to take a look at it and see how it goes. So before I put on the foundation, you can see my face is really broken out really bad right now. All up here, over here, it's pretty, pretty lumpy. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it to a little squeezy tube. You see it? Put a little bit here, put some over here, some over here, a little bit over here, some on my nose, all over. Oh, I can already feel getting beautiful. I may not even need to do anything else with this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get my sponge and blend this shit out. Do 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 do. Blendy, blendy, blendy. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys having a good day? <coughs> oh my god. Believe it or not, I actually feel a lot better. My cough's been gone for the most part of today. I know, like, talk. I spend my whole day talking on the phone, like, all day, guys. So, like, I feel like I wish it should have been better a long ass time ago, but talking all day, I know for sure, does not help. I feel like it's covering up the redness pretty well, like this side compared to this side so far. It is kind of a thicker, not like thick heavy, it's just taking a lot more to blend out. Maybe that has something to do with the filler in it. It's a little more tacky than liquid. It does definitely really cover up the redness. don't like how much how long and how much it takes to blend this shit out I also kind of wish it was a little more matte I don't like how shiny it is considering like I'm always hella crazy with the highlighter you know this be real shiny and then like this area gets kind of greasy too I almost bought the this L'Oreal super matte foundation to try out too but then I saw this little filler one and figured why not give it a try. Okay guys, so this is just like the regular foundation on by itself. I feel like it didn't really fill in a lot of the acne bumps and stuff. The coverage is really good, like you can still see the red through like on the camera, but I swear this camera, iPhone camera, picks up every little hint of pink or red. Um, but the coverage looks really good in person. It You can still, of course, see the bumps all over my face. So the coverage may not be the best for acne coverage. But as far as like the filler for creases and stuff, normally right here around my nose creases really badly. Um, it's not creasing around my nose or my mouth. So that filler part works really well. Also like those little lines right here underneath my eye usually are really hard to blend out. And that fills in really nicely in person like it looks a lot better it looks nicer in person but yeah I wish the coverage was a little better it may not be one of my favorites but hey guys so here's a little different lighting for the foundation coverage um, I feel like it blends really well but like for like some of these bumpier areas you can see like not the best for the acne bumps Right here around my mouth, where like I normally have a lot of creasing, and right here around my nose, it looks fabulous though. Um, it is creasing a little bit right here with my eyelids, which I've never had that problem with foundation before. So, yeah.
So overall, I'd give the foundation like a three. It may not be the best for acne coverage. I'd say for like light to like moderate found acne, I would definitely suggest it highly for that. But as far as like a more severe acne, like cystic acne and stuff, I feel like it kind of brought out the bumps a little bit more. Um, it did really hide the creases and stuff. So if you have a problem with like creases around your nose and your mouth and stuff, definitely suggest giving this a try. But overall, not that impressed for like acne coverage. I wish that the coverage was a little higher considering how thick it is. Because you can still see the red in my nose and my cheeks. Hella a lot. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you liked my video. I do appreciate all the people that have been subscribing to my channel lately. And I hope you have a beautiful day, my beautiful people. And yeah. Bye. I'll talk to you later.